Today, we are going to talk about the anatomy of the yoga pose called Downward Facing Dog. And to help me out, I have my assistant, hey. Sherry. <laughs> All right, so to start coming into Downward Facing Dog, we're gonna start in a nice, strong mountain pose. Feet hip distance apart, toes pointed forward, nice strong thighs. We want to be sure to tuck our booty and our belly all the way in so it's nice and tight. Imagining a cord attached to our belly button, pulling back through our spine. And imagining another cord attached to the crown of our head, pulling our spine nice and tall. Shoulders relaxed down, long neck, soft face. and. In order to move into Downward Facing Dog, we're going to start by coming into a standing forward bend. So Sherry's going to place her hands on her hips, soften her knees, and hinge at the waist, releasing her chest all the way down, all the way down, releasing her hands down. And she's going to bend her knees enough so that she can place the palms of her hands on either side of her feet, nice and flat, and then to come into the down dog, take a nice big step back with both feet. And with down dog, you want to create a nice upside down V, a perfect upside down V. So you're going to press through the palms of your hands, pushing away from the floor. Roll your shoulders open, away from your ears. Keep your neck and head soft and release your chest a little further toward the floor. You want to make a straight line from your hands to your hips and another straight line from your hips to your heels. Especially in the beginning, most of us have a hard time pressing our heels all the way into the floor. And that's okay. You can work on getting your heels pressed into the floor by alternating, bending one knee and then the other nice and slow pressing one heel down toward the floor and then the other just working on stretching out those hamstrings opening up the back of the the glute muscles the hamstrings the quad the calf muscles so that you can eventually get your heels pressed into the floor now if you would like a little bit more of a challenge there's a step you can take it's called single leg down dog. In the down dog position, you can draw one of your legs. We'll have Sherry start with her left leg here is perfect. Draw that leg up nice and long toward the ceiling. What you want to try to do is make a straight line from that long foot all the way down your body to your hand. So again, dropping your chest a little further toward the, toward the floor. Good. And after you hold that for a few seconds, as long as you're still breathing long, slow, deep breaths, you can release that down to the floor. And don't forget to do the other side. What you do to one side, you want to do to the other side. So we can draw our right heel, right foot up toward the ceiling, single leg down dog. Keep breathing long, slow, deep breaths. Keep your core tight. Keep your head and neck soft and relaxed. And after a few deep breaths, you can release that foot back down to the mat. And it's very easy to come out of down dog. Just bring your chest forward, drop your knees to the floor into a tabletop position. And you can relax your back afterwards by sitting back in child's pose, releasing your booty all the way to your heels, releasing your chest and your forehead down to the mat. Long, slow, deep breaths. Good. Well, this has been Anatomy of Down Dog. I really hope that you enjoy this exercise. Downward Facing Dog is an inversion. An inversion means any time that your heart is above your head. It helps the reverse of flow, uh, reverse the flow of blood to your brain, so blood can get to your brain easier, improving memory and other things. Well, thank you very much. And I really do hope that you enjoy this post.